Hey, Lawrence Gunther here with my guide dog inside a little tent that I would take canoe camping with me. Let's talk camping, but let's talk recreational vehicles. Everything from the little ones that go in the back of your truck all the way up to the big ones that tow along behind. It's Lawrence Gunther and we're talking recreational vehicles. This is my four wheel truck camper it's sitting in the back of my pickup truck. Let's pop the roof. Let me get some windows open here. First, the uh, night cover. And then the windows, we got some nice air coming through. This bed is so big up here, I can lie down. I'm now right over top of the cab of the truck. This truck camper has a lot of space. Right across from me is a sink with its own 20 gallon water tank, a two burner stove, a fridge and freezer, a furnace and cupboards underneath. Not only can two people sleep above the cab of the truck in a queen size bed, but I've got room down here. This sofa flips into a double. I'm six foot three. I can stand up here with plenty of head clearance. You know what the nice thing about this though, when you're done in the morning, or if you have noisy neighbors or a bear, just pull it down and you're ready to go. This truck camper fits perfectly on my six foot six truck box. With the roof in the down position, it's about 10 inches above the roof of the truck. It sticks out on each side of my truck box about two inches. Launching the boat at the boat launch is not a problem. You'll have everything you need if you want to go camping and fishing with your guide dog, or when you visit the CNIB Lake Joseph Center for a weekend of volunteering, or if you just want to go camping with your family along the shores of the Hudson River in New York City with the Statue of Liberty in the background. The nice thing about the truck camper is that you can tow other things, like my boat or the bullet camper. This is a 29-foot travel trailer made by Keystone. It's called the bullet because the front of the nose of the trailer is sloped to cut down on wind resistance. It saves gas on the tow vehicle. The whole thing weighs about 5,800 pounds, well within the tow limits of my Ford 150. The back section of the wall slides out of the trailer, increasing the size of the bunk room inside the trailer. The awning deploys automatically as well. Hey, you don't work up much of a sweat when you pull up to the campground in this baby. You know, with a trailer like this, you've got your tanks for fresh water, for wastewater, you've got a battery, you've got propane, you've got everything you need to be off the grid. But in most campgrounds, you've got a post like this here, and it's got everything you need on it. So we can hook up our fresh water, run that into the fresh water. We can hook up our electricity so we can run our air conditioning, and we can even run our sewage drain so that we never have to worry about filling up our, our wastewater tanks. When you enter the trailer, you have a queen size bed up front with night tables and cupboards on each side, cupboards over top, and a flat screen TV at the foot of the bed. Moving down the trailer on the right side, you have a sofa that flips into a bed as well, and then a kitchen with a stove, a microwave, an oven, a sink, and a fridge and freezer. Across from the sofa is a dinette table that folds down into another bed. The bathroom is located across from the fridge with plenty of room for a bathtub, a sink and countertop, and a toilet. The bunk room is at the back of the trailer. On the left is a sofa that flips into a double bed, and above that, another single bed that folds up against the wall. On the other side, you have a bed that slides out at the bottom, cupboards, another bed at the top, and a flat screen TV. No matter how you like your camping, whether it's from a canoe, from a pickup truck, or from an RV, at the end of the day, really, it's about getting the hammock out, a good book, and having some quiet time by the water. Thanks for joining me, I'm Lawrence Gunther.